Hey McGinn, welcome back to our read alouds. It's Mr. Lone. Always good to be with you. I think I heard on the announcements this morning that today is the 169th day of school. Hard to believe the end of the 2022-23 year is fast approaching. Um, but we're going to keep these read alouds going through the end of the year. We'll finish it up as we always do with the special read aloud of, of uh, a certain Dr. Seuss book. I'll leave that hanging out there. But for today, we're going to go back and we're going to do another book that is part of our Pride Month celebration. Um, this book is just a terrific title by Justin Richardson and Peter Parnell. It's been around for a while. It's called And Tango Makes Three. And I hope you enjoy it. And I hope we can learn from it. Here we go. In the middle of New York City, there is a great big park called Central Park. Children love to play there. It has a toy boat pond where they can sit, they can sail their boats. It has a carousel to ride on in the summer and an ice rink to skate on in the winter. Best of all, it has its very own zoo. Every day, families of all kinds go to visit the animals that live there. But children and their parents aren't the only families at the zoo. The animals make families of their own. There are red panda bear families with mothers and fathers and furry red panda bear cubs. There are monkey dads and monkey moms raising noisy monkey babies. There are toad families and toucan families and cotton top tamarind families too. And in the penguin house, there are penguin families. Every year at the very same time, the girl penguins start noticing the boy penguins and the boy penguins start noticing the girls. When the right girl and the right boy find each other, they become a couple. Two penguins in the penguin house were a little bit different. One was named Roy and the other named Silo. Roy and Silo were both boys, but they did everything together. They bowed to each other and walked together. They sang to each other and swam together. Wherever Roy went, Silo went too. They didn't spend much time with the girl penguins and the girl penguins didn't spend much time with them. Instead, Roy and Silo wound their necks around each other. Their keeper, Mr. G Mr. Grimesy, noticed the two penguins and thought to himself, they must be in love. Roy and Silo watched how the other penguins made a home, so they built a nest of stones for themselves. Every night, Roy and Silo slept there together, just like the other penguin couples. And every morning, Roy and Silo woke up together. But one day, Roy and Silo saw that the other couples could do something they could not. The mama penguin would lay an egg. She and the papa penguin would take turns keeping the egg warm until finally it would hatch. And then there would be a baby penguin. Roy and Silo had no eggs to sit on and keep warm. They had no baby chick to feed and cuddle and love. Their nest was nice, but it was a little empty. One day, Roy found something that looked like what the other penguins were hatching, and he brought it to their nest. It was only a rock, but Silo carefully sat on it, and sat, and sat. When Silo got sleepy, he slept, and when Silo was done sleeping and sitting, he swam, and Roy sat. Day after day, Silo and Roy sat on the rock, but nothing happened. Then, Mr. Gramsci got an idea. He found an egg that needed to be cared for, and he brought it to Roy and Silo's nest. Roy and Silo knew just what to do. They moved the egg to the center of their nest. Every day they turned it, so each side stayed warm. Some days Roy sat while Silo went for food. Other days it was Silo's turn to take care of their egg. They sat in the morning, and they sat at night. They sat through lunchtime and swim time and supper. They sat at the beginning of the month and they sat at the end of the month and they sat all of the days in between. Until one day, they heard a sound coming from inside their egg. Peep, 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 it said. Roy and Silo called back, squawk, squawk. Peep, peep, answered the egg. Suddenly, a tiny hole appeared in the egg shell. And then, crack, out came their very own baby. She had fuzzy white feathers and a funny black beak. 
Now, Roy and Silo, we're fathers. We'll call her Tango, Mr. Gramsci decided, because it takes two to make a tango. Roy and Silo taught Tango how to sing for them when she was hungry. They fed her food from their beaks. They snuggled her in their nest at night. Tango was the very first penguin in the zoo to have two daddies. <clears throat> Soon Tango grew strong enough to leave the nest. Roy and Silo took her for a swim, just like all the other penguin families. And all the children who came to the zoo could see Tango and her two fathers playing in the penguin house with the other penguins. Hooray, Roy! Hooray, Silo! Welcome, Tango! They cheered. At night, the three penguins returned to their nest. There they snuggled together, and, like all other penguins in the penguin house, and all the other animals in the zoo, and all the families in the big city around them, they went to sleep. So, boys and girls, I hope you enjoy that story. Um, a celebration for Pride Month. Uh, a great celebration that just shows that love is unconditional. Love can be spread everywhere between all people. So, we will be back tomorrow with another read aloud. I have one picked out from a special family that has donated a book. Until then, have a great night, McGinn.